Jesus Freak here, and uh, I've been thinking about something for a couple days, and I thought I'd mention it. This is a Spanish Bible, uh, La, La Biblia de las Americas, the Spanish counterpart of the New American Standard Bible. Now, you'll notice that in, in the English word, our world, there's this push for uh, gender neutral language in your Bible translations and in everything else. You ever notice that you don't find that elsewhere? You don't find it in Spanish? You don't find it in any other language? You know why? Because it's not possible. English isn't a heavily gendered language, but this is unusual. Even its closest relatives, like Dutch, German, as well as other common European languages, your Romance languages, French, Spanish, Italian, there's no such thing as a lack of gender. They might have three genders. German has three genders for or nouns, but there are genders. There's no such thing as gender neutrality. The language is just, the concept is just alien to them. This is why you don't have people in those languages that speak those languages and pushing for gender neutral Bibles. And I thought, you know, Let's see if I got this here. My uh, other Spanish Bible. Okay, Reina Valera 60. Just thought I'd bring this up while I'm talking about Spanish Bibles. You have uh, a lot of uh, King James only like to bring up Psalm 12, 6, and 7. And, um,. Let's just say that the Spanish version's translation correctly reflects that the way the antecedents work in the original Hebrew doesn't allow for the understanding that you find among King James Onlyus. And you'll, you'll find a lot of them get really salty over this. Um, I don't like to read out of the uh, Reign of Valera because it's a Jehovah's translation. So I'm uh, going to use the LBLA, even though, you know, it, it basically reads the same here. Um, you have to take all the way back to verse 5 to get the antecedent here. Verse 6 and 7 here, you have Las palabras del Señor son palabras puras. Uh, plata probada en un crisol de, uh, en la tierra, uh, siete veces ref, uh, refinada. Uh, tu Señor los guardarás. De esta generación los preservará, uh, preservarás para siempre. Notice it says los guardarás. A male pronoun. But the word for words is feminine. Las palabras. So what's los referring to? It's referring to the poor and needy in verse 5. And if you have, for example, Cambridge cameo here. King James Version having the original translation notes in it. Oh my! There's a note on verse 7. And it says, 
Thou shalt preserve them, Hebrew, him, that is every one of them. Guess what the antecedent of them is here? It ain't words. It's poor and needy in verse 5. And, yeah, I'm going to call that out every time I see someone doing it. I call it out on several forums where this is actually pretty common practice in the King James only sphere. Just thought I'd bring that out. Anyway, Jesus freak out. <laughs>